Hello Casey fam. Today I thought I would give an update uh, on my 77 gallon goldfish aquarium. I haven't done this tank, like an update, on this tank in ages. And I just thought, uh, since it's Christmas, New Year's, you know, holiday season, I would purchase a couple more fish and let you guys see how the tank's doing. Now, there's some interesting stories in this tank, I assure you. Let's start with the obvious. See this goldfish at the top right here? This goldfish I've had for, oh, probably a year and a half, almost two years. And as you can see, this goldfish looks a little odd. It's got a curve of the lower spine. Its fins are like, I don't know, kind of... Not raggedy but bent or crooked I don't know long and this fish basically hasn't grown much at all in that time it's a runt basically it's a runt I bought a runt looked okay when it was like really tiny baby and now it's just weird but it seems to be doing fine I mean it swims funny it stays at the surface a lot sometimes it's perfectly fine has no other issues except that it looks like that. <laughs> now some people may say, you know, why don't you just euthanize it? But I, you know what? The fish wants to live. Who am I to tell it it shouldn't? So anyway, that's my little runt. Now, I had this one, this black moor, as well around the same time. Now if you look closely, you can see there's like a slightly whitish hue on its tail especially. And that's because it's got a bit of, I guess, fungus going on. Because your girl's been slacking on the maintenance for this tank, which I made a New Year's promise to myself that I will be better. And change the water once a week instead of once every three or four or whatever. <laughs> Terrible, I know. I know. But yeah, this is my black moor. I bought this Blackmore goldfish when I was, let's see, when, when I was, about at the same time, like a year and a half ago or so, probably going on two years, I've lost track, but it was about, I would say, even less than half of the size it is now. It measures almost, I would say, from like nose to tail, like end of its tail. Probably, I would say, three going on four inches. So it's a pretty good fish. Look at that face. <laughs> I just love black moors because they just look so, so goofy and so beautiful all in one. I just love them. Now, I've had uh, this one here as well. Now, this is my disappointment that I love. Okay. I bought this fish here because it was supposed to be a rayokin. A Ryakin, right? That fancy goldfish with a high arch back, you know, and all that. But it turned out to be basically a fantail with a long flowing fins, and that's about it. But I love the eyes. That's what drew me to it. I love the coloration of this fish. It is, he's got iridescence. Like, look at the, oh, look at the glitter on those gorgeous scales. And it's kept its color absolutely 100% true. It's actually maintained very vibrant black and white with just a touch, just a touch of gold. If you can see it right there above its um, neck, head, whatever part you want to call that. <laughs> Sorry for my hand, guys. Now, that one's growing about the same pace, I would say as the black moor. You can see they're all basically almost the same size. So they're doing okay. It has some swim bladder issues. It also has a deformity of the gills. Hey, lesson learned, guys. Best not to buy goldfish for like, you know, $1.99 at PetSmart. No uh, shade on PetSmart, but basically you get what you pay for. If you pay $1.99 for a goldfish, there's a reason why it's $1.99, guys. Okay? It's not the best quality etc etc so they it has birth defects you can see that the gill plates are not formed properly but i love look at that face i love my fishies now 
I also added a while ago, maybe about, oh, beginning of the year, if you can see it right there, this gorgeous, gorgeous fantail. Go yellow and white, gold and white, orange and white, whatever color you want to say. It's not really red. It's definitely like a classic gold color. I just think it is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous goldfish. Look at you. Sorry, guys. Love my goldfish. Oh, look at that face. That one is growing well. And the coloration, look at the formation of those gorgeous fins. Love it. Love it. <laughs> They're hoping I drop food. They're not hungry. I just fed them a ton of food, guys. Probably a little too much, but they're greedy. Now, for Christmas, I bought myself uh, a couple of gifts. <laughs> okay, four. <laughs> four gifts, yeah. So I bought this beautiful Ryokin goldfish. Or Ryokin, whichever you want to call it. See the lovely hump? It's got, now my only beef with this one is that I bought it. It's supposed to be a red and white Ryokin. Well, if you look closely, it's got black on its top fin. And I see black stripes also appearing on the front, um, the two, um, I think they call pectorals, fins. Now, that's okay, but I want it to be red and white. But that's the thing with goldfish, eh? you never know. Sometimes you buy one color and it changes to a completely different color at some point in time, but that's part of their charm. So I still love this beautiful creature. And right here, look at this calico. That is my gorge new, if you could stand still. This is my beautiful calico raikin. Yeah, I'm obsessed with raikins and fantails apparently and black moors. Turns out they're my favorites. Well, that's the one I tend to draw myself to. I don't know why, but I just love them. Probably because my very first goldfish was a fantail and he lived for like 10 years. His name was Rocky. So yeah, I bought this gorgeous calico and I'm just loving the vibrant reds and oranges and black and silver on it. It's a beauty. Now I don't, I'm saying it because I haven't got a clue if it's a male or a female. At this point, I can't really tell. I also have this Ryokin right here. And you're thinking, doesn't that look the same as this Ryokin? <laughs> well, sort of, but not really. That one's got a, a vertical stripe on its tail. This one has horizontal stripes on its tail. See? And so far, so far, no black markings showing up anywhere on this red and white Ryokin. So hopefully it will stay that color. But I love it anyway, even if it didn't. And this other gorgeous little peanut. Look at you. Look at you, you're so cute. So, 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 so cute, guys. Yeah. <sighs> now, I took a chance on this one. Because it's Boxing Week and... He's really cute, and I only paid $5.89 for him because, well, 25% off, you know. Now, I don't have the best luck with red cap orandas, and I don't know why. But I asked um, one of the workers at um, Big Al's where I go to get my goldfish, Big Al Scarborough, and he said that um, they tend to be more delicate. And that probably makes more, that actually makes sense to me because honestly, every time I try to raise red caps, they last a few months and then they die. I don't know why. Just mysteriously. Last one I had just died. Couldn't figure it out. And the other fish are fine. So it's like, okay, what gives, right? But he said the red caps tend to be more delicate and they require like more stricter water parameters. So my goal for this year is to change the water more frequently, clean the filter more frequently, etc., etc. And I've also switched to blood worms, uh, frozen ones, because live ones creep me out. Even the frozen ones creep me out, but not as much as the live ones. And I've also started feeding um, oh, Artemia, I think it's called. Anyway, another frozen insect thing, critter. And... 
I am also feeding a true sinking pellet. This pellet sinks to the bottom immediately up and dropping it. It's the Omega-3 brand. Actually, you know what? Let me show you guys which one it is. In case you're interested in feeding it to your goldfish. This is what I've been giving them. And I think they digest this better. And they seem to absolutely love this stuff. So this is what I've been feeding for about um, almost two months. And for the most part, I would say they love it. So before I was feeding, you know, other sinking pellets, but... I wasn't too thrilled with the way they, they took a while to sink. And I think that contributed to this beautiful black creature right here. And Silver, look at his white belly. Oh, I love you. I know. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> yeah, I think that contributed to this black more having swim bladder problems on occasion. So right now I'm medicating this tank, by the way, with um, this. Paragard. Because, um, like I said earlier, I saw like a whitish film on this goldfish and it actually is fading away and I've only done one dose. So, and plus I did like a huge water change yesterday. So, everybody seems to be happier. Now, last but not least, I've got, because you know, I can't get enough of a black moor. So, hey, why not get another black moor? <laughs> yeah, guys, I went and I bought another black moor. Look at you, you're so adorable. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at those big googly eyes. Look at those eyes. Oh, it's like black velvet. That's what they look like to me. Like my fantasy is to have like a tank filled to the brim with like, like a 50 million black moors. <laughs> look at them together. Oh, so cute. So cute. So yeah, this is my new addition as well. I got that one day before, I think it was. Yeah, I've been taking advantage of uh, Boxing Week sales, guys. You know, save money, save money. Why pay, you know, eight, nine dollars when you can pay five, you know? So, yeah, now I have ten goldfish. I know, ten goldfish. Now, obviously, I will not be able to keep ten goldfish easily in this tank for, you know, five years or something, most likely, because they will get big and fat and happy and gorgeous so the, hey you never know what's gonna happen in five years maybe i'll have room for another tank mm -hmm. so yeah this is my uh beautiful brood my gorgeous school now as you can see guys i have expanded on the plant life in this aquarium over the last year okay and they're all like uh, they're real plants they're not artificial i have grown to have a strong distaste I literally hate plastic plants or any plant that's not real. <laughs> so I have planted in pots to keep these little buggers from digging them up. And I have put gravel and stones at the base of each plant. And as you can see, these plants are doing extremely well considering they have really bad lighting because I need to get a better tank. I'm going to get a new tank actually this uh, coming year. One that has LED lighting, because this tank, I've had it for ages, like, I don't even know, like 13 years or something. I can't even remember when I got this tank. It was a gift from my lovely mother, so it's very sentimental to me to keep it. But in any case, I've kept the plants, and I've used this river uh, stone, I guess, pebbles, you can call it. And a few um, couple of months, three months ago, I tied this little um, fern to it. And it's doing well, it's catching on. Then I took some of this um, moss and tied it on and it's doing well as well. So, oh, and I've had my old Anubius, <laughs> usually covered in algae because it's too close to the light bulb, but occasionally one of my very useful, if you could see it back there, I'm sure I could show you guys. Uh, right, oh, get out of the way, Goldie. <laughs> see right above my finger? My Nerite snail, there's about, I think there's three or four in here. They will occasionally climb up this driftwood, up, 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 and find their way to this big uh, Anubius and remove all the algae, or most of the algae from its leaves. So it grows algae regularly, and I guess it keeps the uh, Nerites very happy because they have fresh algae all the time. And basically, of course, I keep 
you know, simple plants in here because uh, once I know the goldfish won't eat them or will struggle to eat them, I put them in here <laughs> because you cannot trust goldfish with plants, guys. It's hard. But I love plants because they filter the water and all that and they just look nicer to me. So let me go step back and show you guys a whole picture of the tank. This is what it looks like. Got the fake background, of course. And what's it being filtered by? It's being filtered by, I'll turn on the light so you can see, this. This is my Aqua Clear 70. This baby cleans this tank very, very well. And what do I have in it for filter material? I cleaned the filter yesterday, so it's all nice and, you know. I've got, of course, as you can see, the um, ceramics, uh, bio, I think they call bio squares or something like that, biospheres. Basically, to grow bacteria and help with the, fil the biological filtration process. Underneath that, you could probably see it. I've got um, filter floss. Because I have a huge bag of it, so it's easy to replace. Filter floss. And underneath that, I've got... Um, let's cover this back up. Yeah, this bag is waiting for the charcoal, which will go back eventually. Once I stop medicating the tank. Um... Yeah, underneath that filter floss layer, turn off the light, is a um, sponge, just a regular sponge. And that keeps the water, as you can see, nice and clear. And my gold is very happy. And you're probably thinking, what on earth is she got in this floating isolation box? Yeah, that is not a goldfish. That is a blue-eyed something rainbow. Yeah, that's a tropical fish. <laughs> and the only reason he's in here in this isolation chamber is because he, I'll show you guys. Let's walk over to the other side of my living room, shall we? That poor fish, that rainbow used to be in this tank where he actually belongs because I was given that rainbow for free because it is slightly deformed and I felt sorry for it. So I was like, oh, let me give it a new home. But I brought it home and it was torturing, tormenting my sweet little fishies in here. So he got the boot because he had like corralled all the fish in here, like my neons, my green rasboras, you know, everybody was just corralled in one corner because this rainbow refused to share. And he was like, the, my last straw was when he was attacking, literally watched him attack my corridors, which was absolute no, absolute no for me. So let's go back. Love the blue socks, right? <laughs> Kicked them out and didn't know what to do with them and put him in here. Now you're thinking, isn't goldfish like cold water fish and neon rainbows aren't they like warm water fish? And you would be right, but my apartment tends to be pretty, oh, ignore my recycling in the corner. I got to throw that out. Anyway, <laughs> my tank is, you probably can't see this, but right now this tank is about 25.5 degrees Celsius. Yeah. And that's cool for this tank. So... The goldfish live pretty well in there, as you can see. And the neon, since 25 degrees is basically tropical enough, um, does well in there as, as well. So, yeah. I got to figure what to do with this rainbow, obviously, because <laughs> I can't sell him because nobody will want him because he's all, you know, if you look closely, he's missing part of his top fin. Okay. Yeah not cool and you think well okay maybe you should just let him out in the big tank right he has so much room to swim well i would except when you consider that this guy here is a good mm, four inches long and this guy here is barely barely an inch yeah this guy or girl i think it's actually female We'll be going, oh, dinner, dinner, oh, rainbow, rainbow sushi. Yeah, <laughs> I cannot let 
the rainbow in this tank because somebody in this tank, I assure you, one of these goldies will eat that rainbow because that's the beauty of goldfish. They eat anything that is tiny enough to fit in their mouth. <laughs> I love them. I just love them. So yeah, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, want any more info on how I keep my goldies happy? Except for this little incident right now with the little fungus on my black mole, which is annoying me. Even the deformed ones who are total runs of the litter, <laughs> I somehow just keep them going anyhow. Because I just don't have the heart to put them out, you know? Yeah, even those. Um, yeah, let me know. And yeah, guys, count them. Ten goldfish. Ah! Oh, by the way. I plan on getting a new aquarium soon, so I think I might even sw uh, swap to a 90 gallon. I was gonna get a 75 gallon, but now I'm thinking, no, I'm thinking 90 would be even better. I don't know, we'll see what the budget can sustain. Probably a 75 is the budget, you know? But anyway, we'll see. So these are my goalies, guys. Hope you enjoyed seeing them. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. And wishing you all a fabulous, prosperous, joyous, new, blessed year. Okay, guys. See you soon. And remember, God loves you. I love you. Love each other. Bye-bye. <laughs>